All right, freeze drying strawberries. The freeze dry trays, parchment paper. On sale strawberries. Just washed them all. Now, cut them up into little slices that fit on the tray. No thicker than the edge of the tray. Like so. The thinner they are, the less dry time it will take in the freeze dryer. And they've a little more powerful tasting when they're thicker, so. I've also seen some videos where some people will cut them long ways like this. Doesn't really matter. Just whatever you prefer, I guess. Alright, that's one full tray from the large freeze dryer. That was one box of strawberries, so it Maybe could have squeezed a few more in between there, but it's about one box to one tray. The large one comes with five trays, so I have plenty. Let's just keep going. Alright, so I got three boxes cut and on the trays. You can see the third box had a lot less in it, or just a lot of smaller ones maybe. I did use a little bit on the second tray to fill it as well, but so it just kind of varies on how many's in each box and how big they are. Also, for reference, there's the thickness of the or the depth of the pan. It's just a little over a half inch. So there you go. All right, so got it all prepared. Didn't have quite enough strawberries for all five trays. I got some left. It's not quite a full bin, so I won't be able to do a full tray. I'll just eat those. But So I just did some lemons, put them in there with them. And now let's take them to the freezer, the freezer for a pre-freeze. All right, we got them in the freezer. They'll sit in there for a day. Then we'll put it in the freeze dryer. Um, doing this isn't absolutely necessary, but it just cuts down on some of the freezing time of the um, freeze dryer running. So if you just have a freezer that's on anyway, then you might as well take advantage of it freezing your food prior to putting it into the freeze dryer, but it's not necessary it just takes longer if you don't 